Blues face Norwich City before the international break and Gary Rowett admits that he's after a reaction from his side following last week's disappointing defeat to Wolves. Yeah, I think we've had a few bumps and bruises physically and, and probably emotionally as well in terms of after the weekend's game. Um, yeah, listen, I think we you know, certainly had words in the dressing room afterwards. Uh, a few meetings this week just to try and iron it out, which sounds ridiculous after you know one defeat in, in four league games. But I just felt the way the second half went that you know, I wasn't happy with that. I don't think the players should have been happy with that, which I don't think they were. Um, and we certainly needed to to address that, you know, because one or two things have not quite been right yet, and we need to get to the bottom of of what they are, you know. So, but that's that's what football management is, you know. You have to accept sometimes things don't go as well as you'd like, um, and certainly I'd rather be saying that on the back of one in, defeat in four rather than four defeats in four, you know, which uh, I'm sure one or two people around the country will be in that same position this morning. Uh, I certainly wasn't happy with the way we. Kind of lost our shape and lost our um, lost lost our heads a little bit when we conceded the first goal against Wolves, which was disappointing. And I think sometimes that desperation to get straight back into the lead again leads you to start chasing everything. And, and we were certainly too open in the second half, and we conceded too many chances, um, which you know you can argue is it about attacking threat or is it about defensive stability and I think it's about both and I don't think you can do one without the other and I don't think you can you can win a game without both of those things so um, certainly disappointed with that Saturday um, of course there were also circumstances around why we couldn't chase the game towards the end you know at 2-1 I still felt the game would have still been very much alive um, but that's what it is and, and I think we you have to you have to then um, try to assess what happened in the game and what you need to do better. I think the, the problem with a game like that is because it's a local derby, you know, me and the players probably react in the same way in some ways that the fans would do. You're disappointed, you're, you're angry, um, you, you, you know, you, 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 you're frustrated. Uh, and I think sometimes it takes a few days for that to calm down. So certainly by the middle of the week, there's a little bit more clarity around of what we need to do. Um, and again, look, we're talking about, you know, you can, whether we've played well in all the other games, you're talking about a, a poor 45 minutes, um, you know, the start of what's a, been an indifferent start to the season, but still a relatively solid one. You know, we're disappointed with it, but we're not sat here with, with no points on the board and we're not sat here having conceded, you know, already 15 goals. Do you know what I mean? So, so uh, a little bit of a little bit of balance about it and uh, you know we'll be ready to go again Saturday. The Canaries have made a good start to life in the Championship and Rowett knows that his side will be in for a tough afternoon at St Andrews. They've been good, I think they've been solid. Um, I think they've won two and drawn two. Uh, they're, they're, they're a good side, they've got Premier League quality within the side, you know they've got people like Pritchard, I think they've paid eight million for who's not not fit yet and not in their side but yet you still look they've got Housen Hulan, Jerome um, Brady you know they've got some really um, Naismith they've got some real good quality players in there and and that's what you face in this division you face teams that have just come down that have still retained those players that can give you that extra edge but we were good last season against those type of teams you know in some ways those games suited us even more um you know, the likes of the Middlesbrough game, the Hall game, the Derby game, you know, all of those teams that were that were in the same position as Norwich right now. Um, we were excellent against them. I and in some ways, the more a team comes to make the running in a game, uh, the more a team comes to dominate possession, the more opportunities sometimes it gives us to, to, to play the way that we can play when we do it properly. So we certainly won't be overawed. We'll be respectful. It's going to be a real tough game. You know, I think any team playing... Norwich this season is going to be in for a tough game because I think they'll be. I'm pretty sure they'll finish up and around the automatic promotion spots. So it's up to us as a good gauge. It's a good gauge as well to see how we react. You know, sometimes you learn a lot about a team when you lose a game. How you react after that, you know, and if we react strongly, then our character's good. You know, if we don't react well, um, then it's something that certainly I'll have to try and address. With transfers the hot topic at the moment, the manager revealed his ambitions for the final few days of the window. We're in a position in a minute, like I said to you, that if we want to get some in, we're probably going to have to get some more out. Um, you know, as we know, 
some of our players are, are, are not in a position where if we let them go, we're suddenly going to be able to go and bring in a, a Premier League striker, for example. You know, we might have to let two or three players out to get one player in, um, such as a type of player that I think we need. So we've still got to work hard. I still think there might be one or two possible surprises. We might even have to maybe sacrifice a player to get one or two in that we want. Um, but that's again, that's something that I'll have to try and look at because, like I said, I can't go out unfortunately and spend ten million pounds on a ready-made um, instant success for, for for something we see as a problem. So.